All right, you are welcome again. Let's see what we have for today. We are still on uh, calculus, solving inequalities using sign chart. And then let's see. We have find the range of values of x for which x all over x plus 2 is greater than 3 all over x minus 2. Okay, we say find the range of values of x for which x all over x plus 2 is greater than 3 all over x minus 2 okay all right let's see what we're gonna do we have x all over x plus 2 is greater than 3 all over x minus 2 what we're gonna do here is this we want to remove the fraction so we're gonna multiply uh, some certain number to the both side so we have in the denominator we have x plus 2 and then the other one is x minus 2 okay so we're going to take this x plus 2 square and then x minus 2 square then you multiply both sides by the both square okay now let me show you what i mean okay now let's see we have x all over x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 square x minus 2 squared then is greater than 3 all over x minus 2 Multiply by x plus 2 squared, x minus 2 squared. Alright? Good. Now, x plus 2, we cancel 1 of x plus 2 here. Good. And then, x minus 2, we cancel 1 of x minus 2 here. So, after cancellation, what is remaining? You have x. And then, after uh, when one of the x plus 2 is cancelled, one will, re one will be remaining. So we'll have x plus 2, okay? In bracket. And then this one, nothing is touched here. So we'll have x minus 2 squared. Then greater than, so in this side, so we'll have 3. And then this one is untouched. So we'll have x plus 2 squared. And then one cancelled in this one. So we'll have x minus 2, okay? Alright, let's see what we're going to do. Please pay attention to this level. Look at this expression very well. What do they have in common? The left hand side and the right hand side. What do they have in common? Alright, if you look very closely, you will discover that x plus 2 is in the left hand side and x plus 2 is also in the right hand side. And then more also, x minus 2 is in the left hand side and x minus 2 is also in the right hand side. So let's factor out x plus 2 in bracket and then x minus 2 in bracket okay so when we factor out x plus 2 and then x minus 2 we open a big bracket all right so as we open a big bracket what is remaining in the left hand side after factoring out these two terms so what will be remaining will be x and then you discover that this one have been factored, the x plus 2 have been factored out, right? And then x minus 2, there are 2 here. So we factor out 1. Then 1 will be remaining. So what will be remaining will be x and then x minus 2. Okay? Now, greater than. In the right hand side, when we factor out, what will be remaining will be, ha we have 3 and then x plus 2 because this x plus 2 squared, we factor out 1 then. One is many, and this one I've been thinking already. Okay, so in the big bracket, we are having what is remaining after factoring out x plus two and then x minus two. Okay, now let's see again x plus two in bracket x minus two in bracket. So in the big bracket, let's this x open this bracket. Okay, so we have x times x will give us x squared, then x times minus two will give us minus two x. Now, greater than, let this 3 open the bracket also. So, we have 3 times x, 3x, and then 3 times 2 to give us 6. Alright, is that clear? Good. Now, let's go. We will have x plus 2, x minus 2. Now, our big bracket, uh, we have x squared minus 2x. Now, let's take the numbers or the values in the right hand side to the left hand side when 3x is coming to be minus 3x okay and then when 6 is coming it will be minus 6 so therefore we have x squared minus 2x minus 3x minus 6 is greater than 0 okay i know you may have a question but please hold your question 
I write it down, you can forward it to my email, then we'll treat it personal, alright? Okay, now let's see. We have x plus 2, x minus 2, then in our big bracket we're having x squared minus 5x minus 6 is greater than 0. Now let's see, we're going to ask ourselves a question, what are the two numbers that when you add them together, you will have minus 5 and then when you multiply them you will have minus 6 okay so the two numbers I know you can do it you can crack your brain but let me help you okay the two numbers will have 1 minus 6 so when you say 1 minus 6 it will give you minus 5 and then when you say 1 times minus 6 it will give you minus 6 alright now let's see how we're going to do it now we have x plus 2 x minus 2 alright in a big bracket, we have x squared plus x, that is the 1, okay? Minus 6x, that is the minus 6, okay? Then minus 6 is greater than 0. Okay, from here, in a big bracket, let's group them. So, we're going to have x plus 2, the x minus 2. In a big bracket, as we group them, we have x squared plus x, in bracket, then minus 6x minus 6, bracket okay now let's still go s plus 2 x minus 2 in our b bracket let's factor out x what do they have in common s squared and x they have x in common right so as we factor out x in x squared what will be remaining will be x okay good in x we factor out what will be remaining there will be what one now let me show you when you say x times x it will give you x squared and then x times y it will give you what x exactly that means they are still the same now a minus six x minus six let's factor out what they have in common what do they have in common is minus six so when you bring out minus six what will be remaining is x plus one the same thing that is in the first bracket okay so when you say minus 6 times x it will give you minus 6x then minus 6 times 1 to give you minus 6 okay then we'll have greater than 0 now let's take the values outside we we'll have x minus 6 x and minus 6 outside so we'll bring them together so we we'll have x minus 6 in bracket uh, we we'll have the same thing in two places so we can actually pick one of them so we have x plus one okay greater than zero right yes we have x plus two x minus two x minus six x plus one is greater than zero let's take them individually now we will have x plus two greater than zero or x minus two greater than zero or x minus six is greater than zero or x plus one is greater than zero okay now let's see let's remove the bracket then we'll have x plus 2 greater than 0 and then we'll have x minus 2 greater than 0 then we'll have x minus 6 greater than 0 and then x plus 1 is greater than 0 now let's see what we're going to have we have x let's take 2 to the other side to be is greater than minus 2 or x Let's take minus 2 to the other side. It will be s greater than 2. Or x. Let's take minus 6 to the other side. It will be x greater than 6. Or let's see. x. We take plus 1 to the other side. It will be x greater than minus 1. Alright. Now we end up having. How many values? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 values. Let me show you something in the number line. As you draw your number line, identify all the four values that we obtained, which are minus 2, 2, 6, and minus 1. Out of these four numbers, which one is the highest? 6 is the highest, right? Okay. You draw your line from 6 up, then forward. You get it? Forward from six seven eight nine ten let the arrow be pointing towards six seven eight nine ten okay upwards now the least of the values that we obtain is minus two then you draw an arrow up and then downwards 
to minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8. Okay? Good. Now, another value that we have is minus 1. What you will do here is just draw a, a, a line up. Okay? Just draw a line up from that minus 1 up. Okay? Good. Now, another one we have is just 2. Okay? What you're going to do is just draw a line up. Okay, so here now we have one, two, three, four, five, five rings of values. How many rings of value? Five. Five rings of value. Now let me show you. Number one is x is less than two. Number one range is x less than two. That is from minus two downwards. That is from minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10. Continuously going down, down, down. Okay? That is number 1 range. Then number 2 range is minus 2, less than x, and less than minus 1. Hmm? Now what this expression simply means is x is greater than minus 2. And then less than minus 1. Okay? X is greater than minus 2. And then less than minus 1. Okay, in a simple language, another range is in between minus 2 and minus 1. In between minus 2 and minus 1. Okay? Good. Now let's see the third range is minus 1 less than x less than 2 what this expression simply means is x is greater than minus 1 and then less than 2 x is greater than minus 1 and then less than Two. That is, in a simple language, another range of value is in between minus 1 and 2. In between what? Minus 1 and 2. Okay, the minus 1, the numbers in between will have 0, 1 and then other numbers. Okay, good. Now, number 4 range of values is 2 less than x less than 6. That is, x is greater than 2 and then less than 6. x is greater than 2 and then less than 6. What it says is, we have another range of value, which is x is greater than 2 and then less than 6. That is, the range of value in between 2 and 6 range of value in between what 2 and 6 all the number in between 2 to 6 okay now the fifth uh, range is all the number from 6 upwards from 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 upwards all right you get my explanation right okay now we said we end up having five ranges of value which is number one is from minus two downwards then number two range is in between minus two and minus one then number three is in between minus one and two then number four is in between two and six and then number five is from six upwards all right thank you very much i am very sure that with this you can go ahead and then draw your sign chart and then complete the signs okay i'm very sure you can do it please try your hands i will be very happy if you are trying them okay thank you very much please keep watching subscribe if you have not and then keep practicing thank you very much see you next time okay